It's the first major ceremony of the Hollywood Awards season. The Golden Globes are often seen as a good indicator of what will do well at the Oscars. So which films are likely to pick up a gong tonight? James Cameron's big-budget computer-generated adventure, Avatar, has a number of nominations. Interesting. The Hurt Locker, about a bomb disposal team in Iraq, is also nominated in several categories. You know that moment when you look into somebody's eyes and you can feel them staring into your soul and the whole world goes quiet? Yes. Right, well, I don't. But perhaps the most hotly tipped movie with six nominations is Up in the Air, starring George Clooney. It's a timely tale in which he plays a man whose job it is to fire people. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are some lighter films in the running this year. There's the musical Nine. Ah, it's like, oh, that didn't go very well. And Julie and Julia, which are both nominated in a number of categories. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. There will also be some entertainment from the host, Ricky Gervais. He's the first person to present the entire ceremony. I think it's shown in about 160 countries. Uh, it's got a world audience of about 300 million people. I mean, it's 25 million in America. So, yeah, the cameras aren't going to miss a trick there. Um, so if I, um, if I screw up, um, it's, it's a big screw up. But he will have a little help handing out the awards from some of Hollywood's leading ladies. And Ricky won't be the only Brit there. Plenty of our homegrown talent has been nominated. You have the likes of Colin Firth, Emily Blunt, Kerry Mulligan, Hel- Helen Mirren, Christopher Plummer, Cheadle Ejiofor, Kenneth Branagh, Jeremy Irons, Hugh Laurie again. He, he's won twice before. Helen Mirren's also won twice before. They're all up. Uh, and across the 25 categories, we actually have influence or direct interest in 10 of them. So we could potentially do very well this year. And the earthquake in Haiti hasn't been overlooked. Gift bags worth thousands are being auctioned to celebrities to help raise money for the Red Cross. Juliana Needham, Sky News.